Indian national Gulbhushan Jadav's fate as a prisoner in Pakistan is well documented. But unfortunately, Jadav is not alone. Another Indian's fate has come to light with the rescue of Pakistani journalist Zenat Shehzadi, who was pursuing the case of his disappearance. 24-year-old Zenat went missing on August 19, 2015. Unidentified men allegedly abducted her while she was heading to work in an auto rickshaw in Lahore. She was working on the case of Indian citizen Hamid Ansari at the time. Ansari went missing in Pakistan in November 2012. A resident of Mumbai, he was arrested for allegedly entering Pakistan illegally from Afghanistan. He was sentenced to three years imprisonment by a military court. Shehzadi then approached the courts to challenge his detention in 2014. Her family says she received multiple threats to not pursue the case before her abduction. A Pakistani official said Shehzadi was then rescued from the Pakistan-Afghanistan border on the night of October 19th. Non-state actors and enemies of the state were named the perpetrators of Shehzadi's abduction. With the case back in limelight, questions are now being asked as to why Ansari is still in jail. Vyond spoke exclusively to Ansari's mother following Shehzadi's rescue. Listen in to what she said. The first thing she told me that, uh, see auntie, I would like to help you, but uh, first I have to ascertain that uh, his uh, action was not wrong. He has not come for any wrong action. So whatever uh, conversation of Facebook friends you have, uh, so you please uh, forward everything. So he has uh, Facebook conversation with uh, five or six uh, people of Pakistan. So all each chats were about uh, 200 pages, 250, 150 pages and each I have sent. She went through all that, she read, she took time and then she said, uh, okay, she came to know that uh, his intention was not wrong. His intention was just to help a friend uh, whom he befriended on Facebook. Since uh, she was very much sure that uh, his intention was not wrong, so she uh, agreed to help. Well, for that, she uh, said that she would...